Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are best practices for automation testing? Let me answer. There are several best practices which can be followed while performing the automation testing. And by doing that, we'll get better results, okay? We'll get better results from the automation testing. So what are those best practices? Here are some major uh, best practices which are listed here. There are many actually, there are many, but the major ones have listed down here. So let's go through these best practices for uh, automation testing or test automation one by one. First one, establishing a test automation plan. Before you start automating the tests and all those stuff, we have to plan our automation well, okay? So you have to decide uh, which tests need to be automated, which tests should not be automated, uh, which tools need to be used, what is the strategy we have to use while performing the automation and all those stuff, okay? Which framework to be chosen and all. So it's better to create a test plan, okay? For our automation testing task that we are going to do next, okay? Before the automation testing tasks start, we have to create an automation test plan containing all the things like uh, strategy tools, uh, resources, et cetera, et cetera, challenges and all those stuff, okay? So with this, right, you will get a clear clarity, okay? By creating an automation test plan before you start automation, you will get full clarity on how the things will go, okay? Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, you will just face a lot of challenges in between. So it's better you create a test plan before you start automation, okay? Then second one, decide which test to be automated, okay? Not all tests should be automated, right? So we have to decide uh, which test to be automated. And the two, we have to give the priority for the test which need to be repeatedly tested, okay? So you just uh, don't simply automate it, okay? Don't automate all the tests, rather just do some tests uh, for automation, okay? So what are the best tests which need to be automated? In the tests also, you have to prioritize based on which need to be automated first, which tests need to be automated first, okay? It's not just uh, deciding which tests to be automated, it's also about prioritizing the tests which need to be automated first, okay? So if you know that this particular test case is repeatedly tested every day and by automating it, it is going to reduce our efforts, okay, manual testing efforts, then definitely there's a go, right? That particular kind of test you have to automate first, okay? So based on different stuff, it's a priority of the test case, like, okay, if you do this right, uh, the basic checks with uh, smoke tests will be done, okay? You can give priority according to test cases and repetition of the test which need to be repeatedly tested every day. Based on these factors and all, you prioritize it and try to automate them based on the priority. So that's a, another best practice you can follow, okay? Don't simply automate the test cases like in a sequence order, rather you prioritize the test and decide which test to be automated. And by doing that, are we getting uh, more results in the less time? Such kind of tests you just try to automate, okay? Then selecting the right automation test tool. Okay, it's not just about automation, right? We have to choose the right tool for our automation, okay? Depending on different situations and all, okay? So in one project, right, the client is not ready to spend some money on, you know, tool, okay? So there may be some projects, okay? So in small and medium-sized companies, most of the projects, right, the client will not be uh, ready to invest in the tools, okay? High, uh, high license tools, okay? There you have to spend load, a lot of dollars on that kind of license uh, uh, amount, okay? For uh, getting that automated uh, testing tools, rather, the client will say, I'm not going to invest on uh, these tools. So in that case, uh, you should choose the right tool according to your uh, situations in your project and environment, right? Uh, based on the client and all your uh, uh, skill sets, based on your uh, skill sets in your uh, company, like what people uh, have the most kind of skills and all based on that, you choose the right tool at that point of time, okay? So most of the people use Selenium or if, the, if your client is ready to pay amount, right? There are some pay tools which will reduce a lot of efforts Okay, uh, automation testing efforts like you know, we have some tools like UFT test complete. Uh, okay, uh, Ranorex and many tools are there. You can choose the right tool for your company. Okay, based on your company. So, and situations. Okay, selecting the right automation test tool according to your project and your circumstances is another point. Selecting right automation testing framework. Okay, there are different type of frameworks like data driven framework, keyword driven framework, modular framework. Different projects will suit different frameworks. Okay, different frameworks will suit different projects. Okay. Uh, not uh, a single framework will be suitable for every project, rather different frameworks are there in the market. We have to figure out which framework will be suitable for this kind of project that you are going to automate, okay? Some frameworks require, some projects require modular frameworks, okay? Some uh, projects require keyword-driven or some projects require data-driven, some will require hybrid, some will require Cucumber, PDD, page object model, such kind of stuff and all, so on, okay? We have to select the right automation testing framework. 
okay for our project needs then don't rely completely on test automation okay since automation is there we are automating just simply spending time on automation from the morning to the night and you are not focusing on uh, manual exploration of the test in that case uh, that's not the right approach uh, you have to mix it up okay so you have to take the automation test as an advantage okay as a coverage test coverage and more than what automation tool can do you can go and explore something and find some bugs that automation tool cannot find okay so automation tool, tool is just a tool right uh, it just follows the instructions it cannot think okay it cannot take wise decisions okay due to different circumstances we face during the projects there may be some situations coming where uh, exploratory testing is a mandatory and uh, by doing exploratory only we can find some defects okay because the automation tool simply follows the instructions and make sure the things are fine but it cannot find the loopholes or problems in the application we don't have such kind of you know uh, thinking levels okay so may not be able to find all the bugs so carry out exploratory testing along with this automation testing okay to get better results and coverage involve all uh, team members in automation okay so in the beginning days of my career wherever the company have worked right okay in their company right uh, you see um, all the most of the people in the project used to work on manual tasks while one or two people in the uh, company uh, in, i mean in the project okay project were given an opportunity to work on automation remaining used to work on manual i i don't think that is the right way okay i don't think that is the right way so it's instead right uh, you have to involve all the team members in the automation okay instead involve all team members in the automation so that is the right way you can say okay instead of giving opportunity to only one person in the team do automation give it to all the members okay that's another thing so that uh, you know you will have necessary backups and all and everyone can automate automate and everyone can work towards okay so it's not a separate thing right automation is not a separate thing these people have to create the manual test case and those people have to create the automation so there is a link missing between them so again some kts and everything should go on rather if you uh, give this opportunity to all the team members who are working on the project and has good knowledge on the project right that will be a better idea okay so then hire a dedicated automation engineer apart from dividing this automation between all the team members okay instead of uh, giving it to only one person for automation uh, what we can do in extra is uh, we can hire a dedicated automation engineer okay so at least one person should be dedicated in the project uh, you know uh, while all the team members are given the opportunity but there will be one full time kind of person who will be automating so such kind of thing i am saying hybrid kind of thing some people will be uh, full time working on manual but they can also contribute to automation but there will be few people you can dedicatedly allocate them for automation okay they are continuously working on automation okay they are they're full time on automation such kind of people okay like architect kind of people you just try to add uh, them into the team and the entire team can want work under the architect automation architect okay such kind of these are all best practices these are not mandatory but by doing this right you will get better results that's the only thing okay then create tests that are uh, resistant to ui changes okay so you generally create some automation tests and you know right uh, uh, there are different ways of automation uh, maybe one example is like when you are automating you have given something like for example by using some x and y coordinates of a particular button you are locating the button you are not locating the button with the help of some xpath expression or css selector rather okay uh, relative xpath or relative css are not using you are not using rather you are choosing the x and y coordinate what is the position of this button on the page you are fine and using that technique if you are locating that button so uh, and if you have written the automation script like that later tomorrow the position of the button changes your automation script is going to fail right your automation script is going to fail rather than following such kind of uh, easy practices you can go and find some proper locators even though the button goes here and there on the page the automation script should not fail it should still be able to locate the button okay so that's where right uh, due to ui changes your automation script should not break so you have to make sure that uh, you locate the elements properly that's one example but there may be other things also okay then improve test coverage with the help of automation right you can plan your coverage okay so how much amount of testing need to be done and you have to set a goal and uh, you have to you know review the automation tests and see whether whatever the currently automated tests are serving your test coverage or not uh, if any gaps are there you have to fill it and all those stuff you can do that by improving the test coverage then cross platform and uh, real device testing so that means your automation script is not going to run only on one browser right on different browsers different operating systems different mobile devices and so on the test environments are many so your automation scripts they have you are writing you have to make sure that they are written in such a way that they can run on different platforms 
and uh, they can run on real devices also in case of mobile automation, right? They, they need to run on real devices also. So we have to write the automation scripts keeping in this mind, okay? So you should not write only for one browser or one environment, rather you have to write your automation scripts to work on different environments, okay? Which are supported by the application to be tested. Know the application being tested. Simply directly jumping into automation is not a good idea. Rather, before you jump into automation, you should have good knowledge about the application, okay? That you are going to test or you are going to automate. So without having the knowledge of the application, how it's going to work and all, if you start uh, automating it, okay? So you will not be writing a better automation test, okay? You will uh, you have to rewrite them again later point of time when you get an understanding of the application in a better way, okay? Okay, you can write better test cases which can be automated later, okay? So know the application being tested. If you know the application well, you will write you will write better test cases and that better test case can be automated. This is a proper process. If you don't know the application better, you will write uh, improper test cases and those test cases will result in automation tests uh, which will not give you better results, okay? So it's better in the beginning itself, you get full knowledge of the application to be tested, better understanding, and then create better test cases out of it and then automate them. That's the best process, okay? So these are all the best practices for performing the automation testing and to get the better results out of the automation testing in projects. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.